Today I'm going to show you the PME Food Mixer. This comes boxed with a 24 month warranty and with full operating instructions. It's available with a UK or EU plugs and it comes with full accessories. These being a 5 litre mixing bowl and a splash guard at the top with a removable pouring section here as well. It also has a balloon whisk and beater and dough hook that have removable splash guards as well. It has a 1000 watt motor and 5 speed digital control including a pulse operation. The handle at the side just unhook the tilting head just by twisting in a clockwise motion and inside you'll be able to see that we have a rotating axis for the attachments to attach to. It also has durable heavy duty non-slip feet. These make sure that it doesn't crawl across the work surface when it's in use as well so that's nice and sturdy when that's actually in use. Before I show you how to attach the accessories onto the rotating axis, I'm going to show you how to just quickly and easily remove the splash guard. So just twist to unlock. You'll be able to see that there are two notches either side on the splash guard, and these align to two notches that are actually on the top of the tilting head as well. Line both of these up, and then push in and twist to be able to connect these and secure these in position. Now I'm going to show you how to attach the beta, for example, to the rotating axis and you'll be able to see, if I twist this as well, that underneath this also detaches. So if I just untwist to unlock, you'll be able to say these remove for easy cleaning. Line up again with the two notches and twist these back into position. I'm going to bring this over to the rotating axis and again just with the notches that are in the actual beta and again just up here line both of these up push and twist to connect and seal then just by using the handle twist this in a clockwise motion and drop down the top section of the mixer and this is now ready for use now I'll switch the machine on and we're going to look at the five speed digital controls just across the top here the number one setting is basically a controlled start. This means to say that you can combine your ingredients just for a short amount of time without too much mess and too much fuss. And that lasts for about 90 seconds. Then it will automatically kick in to speed number two, just up here. Three, four and five are faster speed settings with number five being ideal for use with the balloon whisk. You'll also find, and I'll show you in a minute, that when you rotate the handle and lift the top part of the arm from the mixer, that it will automatically cut out so that you don't spray mix everywhere when it's actually in use as well. I'm now just going to push the first button, that's the control start. For your safety and to keep clean and tidy at the same time when you raise the arm of the mixer midway through actually mixing you'll see that it automatically cuts out as well.